Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. It's Dominoid here once again with the second of our 24 advent calendar videos. Uh, there will be of course some more beans shortly but first of all I am going to show you one of my favourite retro gaming pickups of this year. So today's item is uh, just on the shelf here, not this guy, uh, this is Ocelot McSpoon and he's a drummer made out of cutlery, like you do. No, it's uh, this item he's standing on. So I am a very big fan of another YouTuber called Stuart Ashen, or Ashens, as he is more commonly known. Uh, he is one of the people who inspired me, in fact, to start this channel, and I really enjoy his videos. He does a lot of videos on a particularly poor piece of Chinese tat called the Pop Station, which is basically one of those little LCD games. Um, it's always terrible. It's got a fighting game that involves people with disembodied arms, and it's got a thing called Chanticleer Hegemony, which is... nobody knows. Anyway, I went... I went to a book signing of his earlier this year because I was a backer of his new book, The Attack of the Flickering Skeletons, and I brought this lovely little piece of tat for him to sign. Look, look, it's really signed, and I've put it in a plastic case because, quite frankly, it's the only time that anybody is ever going to want to actually preserve a pop station, quite frankly on the random chance that he's watching. Thank you to Stuart for signing that for me. Uh, it's a pride of place in the collection, and it's behind glass, partially because it's clearly priceless now it's been signed, but mainly because if it's in there, then no one can ever play it, and that's probably the best way to have a pop station. But enough retro gaming. You want to see me eat some beans, don't you? Yes. It's the Bean Boozled Advent Calendar once again, and I am looking for door number two. There's door number two. It's right next to door number one. I wasn't looking there because you don't expect door number two to be next to door number one in Advent Calendar, do you, for, for some reason? What's behind the door? Would it, would it be some beans? Yes. Yes, it would. It's a bag of air and beans once again. We've got different colours today as well. I can see one of the coconut ones in there. And, oh dear, I think that's... Yeah, I think in there we have the one that might be vomit. Oh, right. Let's crack these open and see what we get today. Right. Oh, we get one more bean today. Look, one more bean. There's eight of them. Oh, and I've dropped it. Oh, dear. Right. Let's go through these and see what we have. I think, are these two? I think these two are the peach or vomit ones. Let's get the, uh, the old instructions out. Oh, no, that might be... Oh no, I think that's dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. And that's new for the fourth incarnation. Let's uh, let's go through these. So this first one, this is rotten egg or buttered popcorn, I think. And we did have the rotten egg yesterday and it was awful. Oh, oh we've got rotten egg again today. Oh... Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Like I said yesterday, they're sweet. It's a sweet rotten egg. It's horrid. Right. Uh, let's hope for better luck with this one. And think this is. Oh, no way. What's this one? This is a very pale yellow. Which means what? Is this caramel popcorn or cheese? I think it is. And let's see what we get. Yeah, that's mouldy cheese. That's definitely mouldy cheese. No. Oh. No. Oh. 
Oh, right. I've got a white one. Now, the white one in previous incarnation was either coconut or baby wipes. And I've had the baby wipes one, and it wasn't particularly dreadful. But this is coconut or spoiled milk, and spoiled milk is not a good taste. So I really, really want this to be coconut. Please be coconut. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that was awful. That's so bad. Oh, you do not want to be on the wrong side of that one. That one was bad. Right. Ugh. Licorice or skunk spray again. Yesterday we got licorice. I don't like licorice. So, I mean, this one is a lose-lose. But licorice is at least better than skunk spray. It's licorice. I feel like this is going to be an issue. That the, uh, the only good ones I've got so far, I think, have been licorice. Um, I know we did have a popcorn one yesterday, didn't we? But if all the, if, if the, all the good ones are licorice, then I've lost whatever. Never mind. Let's see this one right. This is either chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Hmm. Right. That's very really pleasant. Clearly not dog food. Hmm, yes. That tastes like chocolate cake. Lovely. Right. We've got a lime one. Uh, is it lime? Lime or... Yeah, lime or lawn clippings. Um, that's lawn clippings again. I mean, it's not dreadful. It's kind of about as bad as a wheatgrass shot, I suppose. And those are nasty but not awful. So, I can live with that. Now, these ones, these ones are here. Uh, it's difficult to tell the colours up from here because you've got the dead fish and strawberry and you've got the um, vomit and peach. It's one of the two, but the colours are very similar. I think this is either dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Now, I like a nice strawberry banana smoothie, so I'm hoping it will be that. There's two of these. This one's got some little yellow markings on, and this one doesn't. This one's plain. So I'm, I'm going to go with the theory that this one's good and this one's bad. Let's see. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh, you remember that time I ate the strumming? This is worse. At least with the strumming, it only smelt bad. Oh, that's oh, it's like rancid tuna. Oh, right. We're gonna end on a high. This is gonna be strawberry and banana. This is gonna be strawberry and banana. This is... It's not, is it? No. <laughs> no. Oh. Just no. Don't try this at home, kids. Just don't. So, thank you very much for joining me for another Advent Calendar video. Uh, I hope it was more pleasant for you than it was for me. Join me again tomorrow when I will be looking at another bag of beans and giving you a sneak preview of some things to expect in 2019 here on the channel. Until next time, though, which will be not that far off in the future, cheers for watching, and I'll see you soon.